In this video, we're gonna be using the Club Vacanza Ramana and the Haircut and Shave number 75 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, I wanna to remind you that this video is brought to you in part by a good friends at Leaf. And uh, if you would like to get 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB. Whether you're using the Thorn, which I love, or the Leaf Razor, really good stuff. Check out our good friends at Leaf. All right, let's get into it today because we have a good one for you. The soap for today is uh, the Shaving Shop Club or A&E, Vacanza Romana or something like that. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but I want to tell you, I have an amazing lather whipped up with this. I'll roll in a couple shots here as I'm talking. Easy to use. This is the Kaizen 2 base, which is really, really good. Uh, it's pretty firm too. I'll go ahead and, well, the photos are probably still rolling, but let's show you that. I scooped out a little. I didn't actually have to use much. The sample that I had in my sample jar, I used about half of it. It was probably a quarter teaspoon. Amazing, amazing lather. And that's one of the things you can expect from the Shaving Shop Club or Ariana and Evans. Tremendous quality. The scent on this one, however, and let me put the scent notes right there for you while I'm talking about it. I don't care for it. It is it is not for me. And when lathered, I thought maybe it'll change. It did not. And so this one is not a winner on scent. It, it's got a lot of elements in it that just don't smell great to me. It sort of almost presents itself as sort of cannabis-y, a lack of a better way of explaining it. Although I don't think cannabis uh, is in the notes. It's just not a winner for me. Scent strength is right at medium. Excellent quality. Now I happen to buy this one uh, from the razor company and it was $21.99 for four ounces uh, or $5.49 on a cost chart there, which is pricey. But if you're a member of the club and I had gotten it there, it would have been uh, below $5 an ounce, which is uh, a fair price. Typically I order from Andy, but I was spending a gift certificate my wife got me um, maybe a month ago. And so I picked it up uh, at the razor company. I do like the label, it's pretty cool. I know it's a little risque and some people won't like that, but. It's okay with me, uh, but the the, uh, the scent is it, just not going to be a winner um, unless something dramatically changes <laughs> during the shave. All right, the razor for today is the Haircut and Shave number 75, which is a really good looking razor. And I'm, I'm undecided as to whether or not I really like this razor um, yet. I've only used it a few times. I would like to have more efficiency than it offers. We're gonna be using the Gillette Silver Blue Blade, which I used yesterday or whatever day <laughs> that was, and we'll load it up. Uh, this one is, it runs about 220, 220 US dollars, so it's not an inexpensive razor. And this is a look at the plate there, if you can see that. It's a well-built razor, definitely well-crafted, but the efficiency for me is not quite what I would like. And so I'm not sure I'm on the fence uh, about this razor. This one has the 0.75 blade gap and neutral blade exposure. And I think it's the neutral blade exposure that sort of, you know, makes it not to my liking completely. It is a good shaver. It does a great job, but I like like um, blade feel. And this one doesn't have a, uh, a lot of it. And that said, it was marketed that way. It wasn't, it wasn't marketed as a super efficient razor, razor. And I do have other plates, but I like the way this black coating looked. And it really appealed to me in terms of aesthetics. I think it's a great looking razor. Handles a little bit longer than I prefer, but I think it's a great looking razor overall. Very well built, but the efficiency, I'd like a little more if I'm being honest. And look, that's the only way we can be here on the channel. All right, let's get into it. And this lather has been sitting for a while because I was waiting for my wife to get up. Um, but trust me when I tell you, there is some creamy goodness in this lather. There's definitely some creamy goodness, even though it's been setting for probably 15 or 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and start by misting our face, which is, you know, what we do all the time here. And we're just applying hydration there is all. And let's get into it today. And the scent on this one, it's a no. <laughs> let's just be honest, it's a no. I don't really care for the scent, but you know, you can't win them all when it comes to scent. And scent preference is wildly subjective, but quality wise, it's really nice. It's really nice. And so I definitely uh, love the quality. I love the ease of use. A&E makes excellent soaps. And we're not gonna spend all day lathering because you know we just don't have a lot of time. But uh, I tell you, this was really easy to get a nice lather and I'm blooping there already. That is okay. And trust me, 
even though the uh, sheen on the lather may not come across on video, you saw, you've seen the photos there. And I've been posting them on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook for people to see, just so you can I get an idea of what a nice, well-hydrated lather looks like. And a lot of times um, on YouTube, it just doesn't come over well on video. Um, because, you know, there are typically features in the camera that kind of knock down uh, glares. And and so it's the one case where it's uh, you would not want, a, where you would want that sheen to show up. It doesn't often on video. And I've got this on my hands because I was blooping. But let's get into the shave. That's the most important thing. All right, let's start by just adding a little water to the razor. And let's go. Let's see how we do today. Feels nice. There's a little bit of blade feel here. Here, but not much and I think it's that neutral blade exposure. This comes across feeling extremely smooth and the coating for me is not the least bit. There's no drag as a result of this coating at all. Um, so I think whatever this is and it's a proprietary coating is very nice. It's very nice indeed and overall it's definitely a well-built razor. It comes in great packaging. It comes in a nice little box. You can see my previous videos on this razor and at some point when I make a decision as to whether this razor is a keeper or not I will do sort of a comprehensive look at the razor and show you the packaging once again just so you can use that sort of as a guide to you know here's the way it looks here's the way it comes and I'll give you my thoughts on it I just haven't decided yet honestly um, the soap quality fantastic first rate as always with Ariana and Avenger getting a really good quality soap that is easy to lather. Um, the newer bases are even more firm, which I like. The Kaizen 2E. This, of course, is in Kaizen. And uh, I really like the quality of A&E soaps. Honestly, just about any A&E soaps in terms of quality, you're getting a good, a good, good quality soap. I don't care which formula it is. It's not that important to me to, to have the latest and greatest base, you know, all the time. Very nice. So first pass, they're very nice. Uh, again, Gillette Silver Blue is the blade. I don't know if that comes across. No, it doesn't. Um, but you could see the hairs in there. So the razor is definitely shaving. I would just like a little more blade feel. But, you know, you can't always have it all. And I do know they make other uh, razors and other configurations that are more efficient. But... I wanted one in black like this, so haircut and shave. If you ever make one in black that's more efficient, that has positive blade exposure, probably what I would like would be positive blade exposure, you know, 0.80 or 0.95 in blade gap. That would be perfect for me, but that's just me. <laughs> and so I realize, you know, companies aren't making razors just for my preference. Um, there's a lot of shavers who like a, a mild blade feel, and this one would be good. You know, if you're in that camp of wanting um just a mild experience very very smooth you might like this one but if you really want a significant or no i shouldn't say significant if you want a reasonable amount of blade feel um which for me you know really aids me in my shaving because it can tell what i'm doing it can tell you know where i am and what's going on it doesn't really offer a lot of that it's it's on the mild side for sure not medium, I wouldn't say, after having used it a few times. Very nice. Lather, excellent, but again, we don't have to spend all day lathering, although it is fun, I gotta say. It, it's just fun, and that's why people do it. You know, sometimes you're just talking, and you're painting, and that just feels fantastic. And for me, I wanna be easy on my face with the brush. I'm not looking to be, do a bunch of scrubbing. Scrubbing occurs in the shower behind me there. <laughs> Uh, I want to be easy on my face because I know the blade is going to be hard on my face. So, you know, I scrub the shower before the shave and then we do a, uh, we don't do a lot of scrubbing with the brush. And that works best for me. You may find that you like to scrub. That's entirely okay. If you fall into that camp, I've had people tell me before, you're not doing it right because you're not scrubbing, you're painting <sighs> and it's exhausting, but what are you going to do? <laughs> you know what I say, it's your shave, do it your way, and and sometimes conventional wisdom, you know, doesn't always apply to you. So don't be afraid to deviate from what you see other people doing. Do it your way, 
If you're achieving good results, great smooth shaves, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles or troubles, then you're doing it right. So don't, don't ever let anybody tell you you're not doing it right if you're getting great results. And as you can see there, the razor is rinsing beautifully cleanly, which means we got good hydration here today. And it was just a easy, the lather on this one came easily. I just wish I liked the scent, but you know, you can't like them all. This one's just not a winner for me, but Pete makes a lot of great scents that I really do like. And so, you know, sometimes you, you miss, but I would say 75% of the time I like the Ariane and Evans or club scents. So I have a pretty good track record there. Maybe 80%. I tend to like, you know, what he produces, but not every scent is a winner, but it's not one of those situations where more than not, I don't like the scent. In that case, I eventually stop buying, you know, when it gets to that. But I'm sure a lot of people like this scent. I preferred London. I thought London was great. Um, the one ginger, I can't remember the name of that one. Um, Dirty Ginger, I like that one in the sort of pinup series from the club. Uh, but this one, this one just has sort of a, in my opinion, sort of a funk to it. It's like that resinous or lack of a better way of describing it. Kind of a, it's not a BO funk. It's a different sort of funk that I'm really having a problem describing, but it's not pleasant. It's not a fragrance I would want to wear um, because I just don't think it, at least on me, it doesn't smell good. And so, um, but I wanted to use it. I bought it, may as well use it. And then we'll either give it away or do something with it down the road. We have plenty of stuff still yet to give away. So if you have it, I have four giveaways ongoing right now. And believe me, I will get to the drawings. I'll probably do it this weekend coming. So stay tuned for that. But man, what good quality. And I love this uh, Ion and Evan synthetic brush too. Very good. I've really enjoyed using this brush. I've used it a lot. Very nice. All right. I don't know how this looks on cam because I don't really, I can't really see that well. Um, I'm looking at a, rather small screen and the mirror is sort of set back quite a ways, so I can't really see it that well, but uh, trust me when I tell you, it is fantastic. It is fantastic. Oh man, I could do that all day. <laughs> it's just, that's why I love doing this. It's just a lot of fun. This morning I was raring to go. My wife was, I heard her alarm go off and it took like probably 10 or 15 minutes before she got up and I was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm ready to get my shave on, you know. I just love it. And I hope you love it too. Um, if you develop an affection for it, that's great. That's that's what we seek to do here is to have you loving it as much as I do. Yeah, because it really can be a relaxing time, a time for you. You know, there's a lot of stressful things going on in my life and I'm sure yours and the world. And, and this, you know, 20, 25 minutes, that we spend each day is just a little me time or you time as it were and uh, it's nice i enjoy it but sadly today we missed on the scent but that's okay we'll make sure we use something tomorrow that we do <laughs> that we do like but i try to use everything that i buy or everything that it's sent um i try to use it you know just so i can tell because sometimes the scent changes when it's lathered and sometimes it can change and you go oh I didn't think I liked it but I like it and sometimes when you first like it you use it and you don't like it as much so you know it can change for better or worse and this one just pretty much stayed the same I didn't really care too much about it to start with and I don't care for it now but you know we certainly don't have any shortage of sh shaving soap so a miss on this one is no big deal because I don't miss very often with A&E or the club and Peter has been really generous recently with all the giveaways and charity efforts and so you know props to you Peter you're doing a great job I think some better things are happening with fulfillment um, now every time I say that I know someone will comment below and go I had a horrible experience and I'm sorry if you do um, but my experience lately has been quite good with a and &E, and others have said there's been some improvement too so Let's hope that continues. And if it does, it's just gonna make it great for everybody. So we should always hope, you know, for improvement. 
and let's hold these artisans accountable and demand improvement because we're paying good money for these products and we're buying a lot of them. So look folks, if not for us, there would be no them. So we need to hold them accountable. We need to air con constructive criticism when necessary. Even if they're, they are our friends, I hope they'll understand that, um, you know, it's coming from a good place. We want what's best for them. And Pete is a friend of mine and has been for many years, but still, um, as you know, if you've watched my videos, I have not been reluctant to say when I don't like something that he makes or, you know, if, if it takes a long time to get to me, you know, I'll air it. Um, but I think some improvements are being made. So that's encouraging for me because the product it's on point, even though it's a miss on scent, it's on point. And I have to say, I enjoyed the, the haircut and shave today. I would like a little more blade feel, but it is really a smooth shaver. So um, pretty doggone good shave today. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we used our PAA almond. There was no stinging. So that was a nice, super smooth shave. Whoops, I'm knocking things over as you can hear there. Anyway, you know how we do it here. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles or troubles. Say it with me sometimes, won't you? Anyway. Excellent shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we tiled off with our Lancaster towel. I don't know if you can see it hanging back there, but it is. And then we used our Magic Made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Okay, as to the pros and cons, the Vacanza, what is that? Vacanza Romana, I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologize. Um, excellent quality soap, fair price if you get it from the club, pros. Uh, really good quality, again, I can't emphasize that enough. The scent for me was just not good. Terrible for me. <laughs> just not a great scent. So that would be the con. But otherwise, um, really, really nice all around other than the scent. A rare mess for me in A&E, &E, but it does happen from time to time. The haircut and shave, number 75 with the black coating. Uh, pros, the coating is really nice. There's no drag that I can discern on that. It's really, really nice. It looks nice. It is definitely well built. Um, price, 220 it, It's... You know, sort of in the middle range of premium razors now, so not bad on that. Cons, um, not enough blade feel for me personally. I would like just a little more efficiency, but if you're looking for a, a smooth shaver in that sort of mild to maybe close to medium range in blade feel, but probably not medium, it might be a plus, but it's a con for me. So overall, I'm still undecided on this razor. Maybe we'll sell it at some point. We'll see how it goes. But it does come well packaged. I can tell you that right now. Probably the best packaging there is comes from Haircut and Shave. They have a nice travel case for your razor. Really awesome. And again, once I make a decision on this razor, I'll give you a comprehensive look at it. And I hope you'll enjoy that. All right. I think that is it. No, it's not. No, it's not. What am I doing? I'm bad at my job. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we almost forgot the splash. This is the club signature, which I like a lot. So I know I'm going to like this scent. Um, this one is not a miss, and it's going to be great, and we're going to be smelling great, and we're going to be having a great day, and I certainly hope. Oh, man. Whew. Smell that, would you? Oh, man. That's great. I love that. Whew. I like it a lot. <laughs> anyway, the soap wasn't a hit, but, man, signature. I just love it. That is fantastic. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.